In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for ALP, that's aluminum phosphide. So let's first write AL, and then we'll put P next to it. Aluminum is a metal, phosphorus is a nonmetal. So we're going to treat this as an ionic compound, and the electrons will be transferred from the aluminum to the phosphorus, the metal to the nonmetal. Aluminum, that's in group 13, sometimes called 3A, that has three valence electrons. Phosphorus, that's in group 15, sometimes called 5A, that has five valence electrons. So aluminum, our metal, it's going to transfer valence electrons to the phosphorus. We'll move one here, form a pair, one here, and then finally the one down here, that'll complete the octet on the phosphorus, so that's very stable. So now, since phosphorus has gained three electrons and electrons are negative, it'll have a three minus charge. The aluminum, it lost these negative charges, it lost the valence electrons there, becomes three plus. We should put a bracket around the phosphorus here to show that the phosphorus, it now has those electrons. And sometimes you'll see brackets around the aluminum as well. The key point is though, that the aluminum transferred the electrons to the phosphorus, and now these electrons are with the phosphorus. So we have a positively charged aluminum ion, that negative phosphide ion, they attract each other. That's what forms the ionic bond in ALP. So this is the Lewis structure for ALP, aluminum phosphide. Note that this is what we call a formula unit. If you had a solid, you'd have a bunch of these formula units in a repeating pattern, in a crystal. But this is still useful to tell how the electrons are arranged around aluminum and phosphorus in aluminum phosphide. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.